Hello everyone, my name is Vishal and in this video I am going to show you how to apply variable width to an object. This feature was introduced in Corel 2023 March update and I must say this feature is one of the powerful feature of Corel 2023. So without wasting time let's jump into Corel Draw and see how this tool works. So you can find the variable tool at the very bottom of tool box as you can see it is shown over here. The icon looks similar which I am showing you on the screen. Now how it works, let me take you to the page number 2. Now it will work on path, text, shape or any other object and let me show you how it will work. So let me quickly create a path first. So for creating a path, I am going to use freehand tool. So for example, I am making a path. Now I want to apply variable outline to this path. So in that case, what I need to do is I need to click on the variable outline tool. The short key for this is V. Now when I click, I have to define from which part I want to make it thick or thin. So let's say I want to make it thick from this part. Now can you see? It has created a node over here and I can very easily define the thickness. I can also move this node to any other path. In the same manner, I can create multiple nodes. Let's say I create one more node over here. So from here, I make it thin and I want to make one more node. I'll just click on it. And now with the help of this handle, I'm going to pull it outside to make it thick. So in this way, you can very easily adjust the thickness of stroke. The same thing can be done on any other object. For example, if I take up ellipse tool. Now, after creating an ellipse, I want to create a variable thickness in this ellipse. So I just need to click on the variable tool. And now from which I, part I want uh, to increase the thickness, I can just define that and just have a look. Now. How much you want, you can define at any point of time, you can make it thinner. If you want to add multiple nodes, you can do that as well. Just click on the node and you can define the thickness. Now, in case if you want to remove any node, select or double click on it. Or you can select the node from here and there's option to delete the node, remove node, right? Let me take any other shape. For example, if I take a star and now I want to apply variable outline to this object, I can just need to click and define from which part I want to make it thick or thin. Let me try with any other shape. So I'm going to take a heart shape from here. After creating a shape, just click on the tool and define the thickness that's it as simple as that if you want to apply the same thing on text you can do that as well so i'm going to take a new page text tool let me just increase the size of this text and now before applying variable outline to this text we need to first convert this into curve and after converting we can easily apply the variable thickness to text also can you see let's say i want to apply same thing on this t as well i can very easily do it i just need to stretch how much thickness i want to apply on it can you see as simple as that i hope i am able to clear the tool variable outline if you have any queries you can put in the comment box thank you for watching